All right, what is up guys? So real quick, I wanted to go ahead and show you how to install Go and get everything set up. In particular, making sure that everything is set up correctly on your path so that you can get packages and binaries installed using Go, which is gonna be really important for some stuff that I'm gonna be covering in the future. So I wanna make sure I put out this quick little guide on how to install Go and set up your path. So let's get this done real quick. All right, so the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is just go to go.dev slash doc slash install. This is going to have instructions for whatever uh, OS you're on. For me, I am on Mac OS, so I'm just gonna hit download here. I already did it. So I'm gonna end up with go 1.19.5 Darwin. You just click on this and this will open up this. It'll tell me that I have a previous installation. Um, it'll say yes, it'll go ahead and remove it and do this. On Linux, you're gonna to have to manually do that, but on Windows and Mac, I believe it will just handle this for you. Uh, put in my password, go ahead and install it. So once this is installed, really we have Go working and running, it's that easy, but the key is we need to go ahead and set up our um, path to work with binaries and packages that we wanna install custom. So that's the whole reason I'm making this short little video. So just like that, we are installed, it is successful. And if I close this up, uh, move that to trash, don't need it anymore. If I, uh, I'll quit my terminal and then open up a new one. If I clear this out and we do Go version, should be 19, 1.19.5, latest version of Go. Great. Now the key thing that we need to do here is we need to actually add the um, Go bin to our path. So what I'm gonna tr do here is I'm gonna do Go install, and then I'm gonna do this uh, air at latest. So this is a package that will allow us to do hot reloading of our Go apps. So I was gonna be using this in a video later today. And when I went to install this, you go ahead and do this. It'll run some stuff. And then if I try and just do, uh, if I quit this out and I try and do um, air, it's not gonna find the command because it's not the, wherever these Go packages get installed is not being put onto my um, path. So what we need to do is we need to do a little bit of setup here. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is check if you have a Go path or not. So you're gonna wanna do echo Go path. So this right here for me is gonna return empty. So that means that this needs to get set. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do um, code.zshrc. So I'm gonna open up my uh, ZSHRC. I use ZSH for my uh, terminal. If you guys wanna see a video breaking down, like setting up my terminal and stuff, let me know. Uh, I like this setup, it's on Mac. It's nothing too insane like you'd see on like the super crazy Linux Vim people, but it works really well, it's really fast, and I like it. So in here, I need to set some uh, path variables and set some environment variables. What I now need to do is I need to do the same thing for Go. So I'm gonna go down here and I'm gonna say, uh, golang setup and then we're going to go ahead and add this in here so we're going to do export go path is home slash go so that means that in my home directory i'm going to be creating a new directory called go and this is where all my go stuff is going to go wherever they install my packages and all that stuff it'll head in there so then the next thing i'm going to need to do is i'm going to need to actually add in the um, bin of this so i'm adding to my path and the path is the stuff that actually you can run from your terminal so I'm setting path equal to path and then I'm concatenating onto it, go path slash bin. So that means that anytime I run go install, that stuff should be getting put into this go directory slash bin. And then now this will all be on my path and I can actually use it. So now that we have done that, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, close this, close that, don't need it anymore. Clear this out, I'm gonna quit. And then I'm gonna open up another terminal, clear this again. And now we're gonna go ahead and do go install air at latest, do that again. And now I'm gonna do um, ls go slash bin. And then we should in here see in here we have air. So we now have this executable into our bin. And assuming we did our path setup correctly, I should be able to just do um, air. And then it's gonna say air built with go, but there's nothing in here to watch and everything works. So that's the basic go setup. Make sure you guys do that. Um, I know this is a super short, tiny video, but don't worry, the main stuff is still coming later today. I am working on getting my full template project set up. I'm gonna have that uploaded to GitHub. A lot of great stuff there, so make sure you guys like, subscribe, are here for that. It's gonna have brand new stuff coming out all the way through the 28th of February. This is not the main video for today, just a little extra something I thought I'd put out to, as, as some extra context. So yeah, that's about it.